in Brantford, Connecticut. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, which song is the trickiest to sing as far as harmonies? Which oh, that's an easy one. Ooh. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Right. right. Oh yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard that one? The Don't know nothing on the No Regrets record. Ooh, that's a tough one. It that's was, a tough yeah. one. Larry. We oh, actually have to practice for once in a while if we decide we're gonna sing that one. Yeah. Practice. Yeah. Practice. Practice. We talking about practice? We are practice? there, Tony Iverson. <laughs> um, that was from Mark Eric Carnega Bardo. I don't know if he's Spanish or French or that's a lot of names. Mm -hmm. He said uh, yes and C and we. If you can do it all over again. So uh, I just thought I'd share this video. It's kind of fun. Uh, all for one answered my question on a live stream that they're doing. Um, and this this video actually inspired me to maybe try giving a shot at figuring this song out. Um, Four part harmony acapellas are so much easier than five part harmony acapellas. I tell you that. Um, Cause you know you have your traditional three part. That is a given. You know you're gonna have that and then you'll probably have like an artistic bass vocal. Um, and then coming to find out that that song that they're talking about, Don't Know Nothing is actually a cover. It is actually a cover of a song by a group, a girl group called For Real, whom I've never heard of. So I, I want to take a chance on their music now because it sounds like they're a genuine vocal harmony group. Uh, and they're from the 90s. Also, um, I, didn't, I didn't save this clip, but I'll just let you in on something really cool that I found out. Um, apparently, according to Jamie Jones, apparently, the song Invisible Man was supposed to be an all-for-one song. Isn't that crazy? Apparently, they said it in the, in the live stream. Jamie Jones said that that song was supposed to be an All For One song. Imagine that. Imagine All For One doing Invisible Man. Now, if you don't know this, Invisible Man is a 98 Degree song, and it was their first hit, and their first... I'm pretty sure it was their first single. Their first single. And it's, uh, it's kind of like this R&B ballad kind of thing. But imagine that, eh? That was supposed to be an all for one song. I wonder how that would have impacted their careers. Because at that point, um, all for one, their two biggest albums had already passed. Um, their first album came out in 1994, and then their second one came out in 1995, and they were both smash hits. Um, so by 1997, when Invisible Man came out, um, I wonder how that would have went. I think the follow-up album after When the Music Speaks that came out in 1995 was 1999, so there actually was a pretty big gap in that. That album didn't hit anywhere close to their 1995 album, unfortunately, but I really wonder if Invisible Man was a part of that catalog, just how it would have impacted their career, because Invisible Man for no, uh, 98 Degrees was uh, a decently big song. It put them on the map. Although their other songs on their follow-up album was much bigger than Invisible Man, but, um, and, I mean, you could even say the fact that 98 Degrees was on Invisible Man made the difference, could have made the difference, which is very interesting to think about. Um, you know, they're fresh, they were new, um, they have their own image, right, and their voices are different. So, you could say, you could argue that maybe 98 Degrees being on the song could have made a big difference. But who knows, maybe that song could have been big for uh, uh, All For One. And uh, something else that was kind of cool was that apparently they were supposed to work with Babyface at one point, but it wasn't their fault, but something got in the way and apparently it wasn't their fault, so they weren't able to do that. And also some other juicy information that they shared was... The fact that they were supposed to do a song on a James Bond movie. I think it was Tomorrow Never Dies. They were supposed to do a song for that movie. Um, like maybe it was supposed to be on the soundtrack. If you guys didn't know that uh, either, um, this wasn't mentioned on the... This isn't something that had to do with the live stream at all. Just just saying they had a song on the... Uh, they had a song on the Space Jam soundtrack and... Uh, they also had a song on the soundtrack of the Disney movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. 
which feels very odd for me to say it like that because I actually speak French. Realistically, it would be Notre Dame. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. Um, and also on a last note, I actually asked them a question another time, not on a, not on a live stream, but uh, they just they asked on uh, Facebook once to leave them questions and they were going to answer them in a period of time. And I actually asked what song did they feel had the most... Um, I basically asked a similar question. I said, what what songs did you feel had the best harmonies? And um, I don't know which member it was, but I was just sent a list of all their acapellas, basically. Understandable, understandable. But then this time I asked them what the trickiest one was. And, uh, and it was kind of funny, like, uh, Delius was trying to pronounce my name and everything like that. Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's, it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of cool to see them actually acknowledge me and actually like full-on say my name and stuff like that i mean i find that really cool and i actually really like their songs right and these guys were really successful in the 1990s and i really like their sound and i and i i respect them as a harmony group also um and they're really up my alley because as far as r&b songs i like i prefer like a cleaner sounding r&b than like a dirty sounding r&b i'm not sure if that um i'm not sure if you guys understand what i mean but maybe some of you do like, Boyz II Men and All For One, I would consider having that clean-sounding R&B, whereas, like, Jodeci has a little bit more of that, like, crunchier, dirtier-sounding r and I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But, um, anyway, I'll sign off for now. Just kind of a fun little thing. Anyway, peace and love, guys. Till the next video.